What happened at WWDC, the Worldwide Developer Conference? All right, so let's talk about something we can remember. (laughs) (laughs) This week, Apple was busy with their big annual WWDC conference, and it looks like Apple users must have been a little jealous of those developers over on Windows. So, you know, for, for several years now, Windows developers have had the ability ability to run Linux and essentially a well-integrated virtual machine called WSL, or Windows Subsystem for Linux. While those poor Apple developers, you know, they did get to use Mac OS's ZSH or Z shell command line was built right in, or, or they could even switch to Bash if they wanted. And you know what, although it's, it was very close to Linux, Linux-like, it, it wasn't exactly Linux. You know, try developing a Linux app or running an actual Linux app on Mac OS command line, and, well, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, who knows. This week, Apple released an initial build of its new open-source container tool for creating and running Linux containers on Mac OS. The tool is called, wait for it, Container. Creative, <laughs> creative, like always, oh, Apple. Beautiful. Good job, good job with that one. And is written in Apple's beloved Swift language. 